Hello, today's video we have the following content. CCTV criticized. In the name of filming, the darkness under the lights in the entertainment industry does not end there. Good actors are all very talented in acting, but even good actors will occasionally encounter some plots that make them feel troublesome. Intimate scenes are something that many actors cannot avoid. Some of them have families or romantic partners. Celebrities are more concerned and don't want to film such a plot. Occasionally, people will find that actors in idle dramas or some TV dramas with intimate dramas use body doubles to shoot kissing scenes or more intense intimate scenes. But occasionally there are some cases where some actors are waiting to take advantage of intimate scenes. The most famous actors in the entertainment industry who have used intimate scenes to do evil things include Zhou Ji, Zhang Tilin, Zhang Han, and Li Yifen, who has collapsed and can no longer appear in the entertainment industry. Let's talk about Zhou Ji first. It was revealed that he had taken advantage of an actress through an intimate scene, and it was the actress who took advantage of him, Ruby Lin, who broke the news. This incident caused an uproar at the time. Ruby Lin first exposed on the program that J. Joe's kissing scene was not in the standard, and she felt very unhappy when filming the kissing scene with J.C. Later, Ruby Lin also mentioned the kissing scene many times on other programs, because Ruby Lin came forward to give evidence. Comma Joe G's reputation plummeted. After that, Joe G rarely took roles. After the popularity of Huan Zhu Jiejie, he did not get any traffic. In recent years, he once secretly said on some variety shows that he was fine. Some people chose to believe it, and others chose to believe what Ruby Lin said. Full stop. To take a step back, even if what Ruby Lin said was exaggerated, someone conducted an archaeology on Joji and found that the plum blossom files he photographed also showed traces of his touching the actresses. In other words, in a sense, Ruby Lin may not have wronged Joji. There is no specific conclusion on Joji's case. Zhang Tilin's forced kiss on Tao Hong was indirectly testified by the director. Tao Hong had already obtained a marriage license with Su Shang back then, and Tao Hong, who had not yet completely faded out of the entertainment industry, took on the role of Heaven and Dragon Sword. At that time, the plot showed that Zhang Tilin was going to shoot a kiss scene with her, and the director suggested that he use the filming location, but it was too real. Full stop. Because the actress Tao Hong had oral ulcers at the time, it would be more painful for the actor to shoot a kiss scene. Originally, the actress had discussed with the director for special filming, but unexpectedly, Zhang Tilin ignored the needs of the actress and the director and hugged her directly. Tao Hong kissed her. Tao Hong, who was frightened by Zhang Tilin, seemed particularly panicked even in the scene shot by the director. Although neither actor pursued the matter too deeply, some fans and those who considered the two actors at the time the audience noticed something was wrong with this matter. Also taking advantage of actresses during filming and intimate scenes is Li Yifen. He was banned in the past two years because he was in compliance with the fans' words that he shouldn't sleep when he slept with her, but just after the official revealed that his personal ethics were compromised. Before, fans went through Li Yifen's previous videos and found a lot of disgusting things. Li Yifen once collaborated with Li Qin. At that time, the daughter played by Li Qin and the character played by Li Yifen were a couple. In the plot, there was an action of him hugging Li Qin and spinning around. Originally, the action was quite warm and quite like a couple. But I don't know what Li Yifen was thinking. While holding Li Qin in circles, he twisted his lower body crazily. Li Qin was obviously frightened at the time. Judging from the video released at that time, fans left messages in the barrage saying that Li Qin's mouth shape seemed to say the word nest, a kind of plant. Li Yifen is the first person to be able to scare his co-stars in an intimate scene. Of course, there are people who are better than others. Compared to the greasy and disgusting Zhang Han, he is definitely the second one and no one dares to be the first. Full stop. Netizens commented that Mr. Duong the district, who is extremely greasy and humble, is unbearable. Zhang Han not only played the main role in this drama, but also contributed a lot of disgusting emoticons. If you look closely, the audience can also see I found that Zhang Han did a lot of bad things in this drama. The main role played by Zhang Han in Mr. East 8th District has relatively close contact with female actors. Not to mention that the actress looks like his ex-girlfriend. When Zhang Han acted later, it really felt like a performance. Don't touch this actress. Whether it's touching the actress, putting his hands on some sensitive parts unintentionally or deliberately, or hooking the female actor's shoulder straps with his hands, this behavior is extremely impolite and uncivilized, and it also contains deliberate elements. At that time, the official media couldn't stand Zhang Han's performance. 
Zhang Han, who was confident in the command area and confronted netizens, was directly criticized by the officials. Because Zhang Han touched the sensitive parts of the actors in the play, and reached out to pull the actor's belt and other rude behavior, People's Daily Online commented that the official account directly criticized Zhang Han's rude hands, and also mentioned the topic of Zhang Han's hands, which caused suspected disrespect. Women's Controversy In the official evaluation, the bad drama Mr. Duongba District and the bad guy Zhang Han, which was rated only 2.4, were severely criticized. The official criticism of Zhang Han was actually not a big deal, because except in Dongba district in this drama, gentlemen, Zhang Han's performance in other dramas is also very greasy, and some of his actions are also very uncivilized. It's just that Zhang Han still had a face when he was young. As he gets older, Zhang Han is now not only greasy, but also disgusting and rude. In the entertainment industry, there are many actresses who take advantage of them by filming intimate scenes. In the entertainment industry, there are also actresses who take advantage of male actors by relying on their own strength. For example, they are often criticized by everyone for always acting young. Liu Xiaoqing Liu Xiaoqing often creates scripts and characters for herself. In TV series, she insists on playing an 18-year-old girl, hugging an actor who is many years younger than her and acting coquettishly. This is not a blow to the actor. This kind of behavior has a negative impact on the actor. For an actor, how can it not be considered a dirty trick, a very novel behavior of taking advantage of others? Filming intimate scenes is inevitable for many actors, but many polite and civilized actors will pay more attention before filming intimate scenes. Some actors have revealed in programs or interviews that on their first day on the set you may be faced with the awkward situation of filming an intimate scene with an unknown actor. But in order to alleviate the embarrassment, the actors on both sides will try their best to care about each other's needs, and try their best to film the intimate scene as perfectly as possible and present it to the director in a short period of time. Some actors who have known each other for a long time may even go out of their way to film the intimate scene before filming. Go get some gum or do something that will ease the other actor's nerves. In fact, as long as these actors are really polite and polite, the intimate scenes they film will be very pleasing to the audience. For example, Su Jin Jiang, the actor was tricked into filming some more intense scenes back then. Intimate scenes, but since he had already taken over the job, he chose to take it as it comes and face the actress who was about to shoot an intimate scene with him. Su Jin Jian also had a headache, but in order not to scare the actresses and try not to hurt them, Su Jin Jiang did a lot of homework in advance. In addition to wrapping himself tightly with tape, he would also talk to him before and after the filming. The actress in the drama received psychological counseling. At that time, Su Jin Jiang desperately hoped that what he did would not leave a psychological shadow on the actress. Later, actress Shuki, who often acted with him, also said that Su Jin Jiang was really a good actor. Even when filming such sensitive scenes, he would not make the actresses feel uncomfortable. He would take great care of the inner feelings of the actresses and would never do anything outrageous. At that time, many actresses on the crew felt that Su Jin Jiang is very reliable, and thanks to working with such an actor, I didn't suffer any disadvantages. From the actor Su Jin Jiang, we can learn that if an actor wants to perform an intimate scene well without hurting the other person, being an actor is something that can be controlled. However, some actors use the excuse of filming intimate scenes to go everywhere. Taking advantage of other actors is definitely not the fault of the intimacy department, but rather their personal ethics. Such people definitely deserve to be criticized by the official media. Next news. Exclusive interview with Wang Yibo. Maintain a sincere heart the storm chaser hits the airwaves. Since its launch on CCTV8 in late March, the contemporary youth growth drama The Storm Chaser, directed by Yao Ziya Feng and written by Wang Liangping, starring Wang Yibo, Li Qin, Wang Yang and others, has been performing well in recent days. The show topped the CVB primetime ratings the day after it aired. The real-time ratings of Kuan peaked at 2, and the popularity on IQIE exceeded 9,600. The ratings are both good. The male protagonist Wei Rule, played by young actor Wang Yibo, is also loved by the audience for his smart, intelligent and righteous character. He is very passionate, has a sense of justice, is persistent and brave in his work. Even when facing the dark social reality, Wei Rule still maintains a sincere heart and wants to change the social status quo through his own efforts. Wang Yibo accepted the Liberation Daily, exclusive interview with a reporter from Shangguan News explaining what Wei Ruole is in his eyes. At the beginning of the TV series, there is an assassination, a rescue, 
and a stock market game. The plot advances on multiple parallel lines, but they contain inextricable connections. Storm Chaser is set in Shanghai in the 1930s. It adopts a novel narrative incision and starts from the perspective of the financial industry. The storyline is embedded in the real historical picture of Shanghai and depicts the story of Shanghai from 1929 to 1934. A scene filled with smoke and silent struggle. This makes the social turmoil in a specific historical period and the intrigue on the financial front in the play cleverly form an intertextuality. From the character setting point of view, Wei Ruole is a character with obvious growth meaning. In the complicated political, economic and social environment of Shanghai at that time, Wei Ruole, as a young man who bravely came to Shanghai from the Zhangzi countryside, rented in Kibao Street, a mixed and dilapidated place. His initial wish was just to be admitted to the central bank and have a good job income. Wang Yibo revealed that what impressed him about the role of Wei Ruole was his charisma. This ideal and belief in taking family and country as one's own responsibility, as well as the unique passionate feelings of young people, are the character traits that Wang Yibo admires. As a young man from a poor family who left his hometown to work in Shanghai, Wei Ruole showed great personal talent in the financial field. Whether he is helping his neighbor Aunt Jo on Kibao Street to trade stocks, or being fearless in the face of fire during the central bank exam, the character's agility and human touch are all reflected. When Wei Ruole got up early to rush to the central bank for an interview, her pair of torn socks, her leather shoes that gathered dust under the bed, and her slightly messy hairstyle in the mirror all gave the scenes in the play a sense of life. In Wang Yibo's view, Wei Ruole was just like the young people of that era. Although he initially regarded his career as a job that could earn more money to support his family, he had his own ideals and ambitions in his heart. This can be seen from his bent on joining the central bank. In the context of the times, he was eager to create value through his own efforts on the best financial platform, improve people's livelihood, and make society better. Storm Chaser adopts a two-line parallel narrative structure, one line is a financial war without smoke, and the other line is a thrilling spy war drama. In the workplace where the central bank is the stage, the new senior advisor Shen Tunin, played by Wang Yang, plays the role of Wei Ruole's master and becomes his guide on the career path. Shen Tunin is both good and evil, and he wants to promote Shanghai's financial reform, and he does not hesitate to take risks with his own life. Shen Tunin's sister Shen Jinshen, played by Li Qin, and Wei Ruole's brother Wei Ruachun are both underground members of the Communist Party of China. In the dark current situation, they disregard their personal lives for the cause of the party. Therefore, these important characters surrounding Wei Ruole constituted his dilemma and social situation, and also laid the foundation for Wei Ruole and Shen Tunin to part ways. Wang Yibo feels that Shen Tunin plays an important role in Wei Ruole's professional and personal growth. Wei Ruole, who had just entered the workplace and had no work experience, just rushed forward with momentum and persistence. Therefore, he admired Shen Tunin very much and once regarded him as the direction of his life's efforts. The two of them also learned from each other in the process of getting a long friend. But as Wei Ruole received more and more attention, the corruption within the Kuomintang was exposed in front of him. Inspired by the people around him, Wei Ruole and Shen Tunin eventually embarked on completely different paths of faith. After experiencing a series of changes such as investigating the counterfeit currency case and treasury bills, he witnessed the darkness and corruption of the current situation, and realized that he needed to change the status quo of the country and fight for the people. Therefore, the sense of opposition between his master and his faith made him once I lost confidence in Shen Tunin, who was once a like-minded person, and eventually embarked on a different path of faith, but Shen Tunin has always been Wei Ruole's guide and bow. Director Yao Feng once said in an interview that he chose Wang Yibo to play the role because he saw many similarities between the two. I saw something in Wang Yibo. I felt that the story should be filmed as a small character who came to a big city to develop, and then accidentally got involved in a bloody storm and fell into a battle between two forces that were beyond his power. Kama let him hesitate, let him make a choice. In one scene, his brother Wei Ruachuan was betrayed by his companions. After searching for Wei Ruole in Shanghai, he eventually died due to excessive blood loss. In this scene, Wang Yibo performed Wei Ruole's pain and fear. After his brother died, Wei Ruole had no time to grieve and buried his brother in pain overnight. In such a terrifying period, if you have a communist brother, you have to be screened, and the first thing you will definitely bring is fear. I was very impressed by Wang Yibo in this scene, and the whole audience applauded, after filming. Yaro Ziyafeng said. In Wang Yibo's eyes, 
Yaro Ziyafang is a director who pays great attention to details. He is more of a good guide to the actors in terms of performance. He will let me use my own real experiences and feelings to understand the character's current emotions, allowing the actors to perform the performance more closely to life. In real life, Wang Yiba likes racing. When a reporter asked which scene in Storm Chaser was the most fun, his answer was a bit unexpected but reasonable. The most fun thing was riding a motorcycle from that era. As for what themes or roles he wants to challenge in the future, his answer is also very open, I want to try them all, and they all feel fresh. Thank you for watching the video. If this is your first time watching a video, please subscribe to the channel, like and leave your comments to help us develop your channel.